Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga! And we are back inside of our kennel with so many fantastic puppers to pet! Look at all of these little ones! Hello! Hello, how are you doing Everpine? How are you doing Harmony? Everpine, I love how your favorite thing is to get pets! Oh my gosh, and we are back you guys and I am so excited to see that so many of you have been so excited to return to the races. There is something just really thrilling about going on the races with our wonderful dog sled team, and it is really fun to see that we have finally, after 534 days, become talented enough that we have really climbed up the ranks. We're starting to sit on top of a big pot of money that I will promptly have to very rapidly spend on all of my dog registrations. I can only imagine those dog registrations, like, include basically having the world's top dog researchers study over every piece of fur that my puppies have before we go on the races every month because that's so expensive. Is it just to keep the league going? Is that where the money comes from? Who knows? Who knows? We're also paying the jerk quite the income every month so that he can continue working for us and uh, we're taking good care of our pups. I guess this fee would also include, you know, all of the wonderful like shampoo and the fancy treats. I guess actually it might cost a lot to make those fancy treats we're tossing at the dogs all the time but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love that you have shown to all of our puppers and for all of the fan art that's starting to come in to the fan art email there is just something about seeing fan art for our puppies that just makes my heart sing and makes me want to dive back into the races again and again so thank you so much for the inspiration and now let's go ahead and set up a good regime so that the dogs who did go on the race last time. Max, Striker, and Domino can go ahead and get a little bit of rest, and everybody else can focus on training with the jerk, including Everpine, who is our youngest, newest addition, other than little baby puppy Mary, who isn't with us just yet. She still has one more round of training to go before we decide if we're going to bring her into the pack or not. But uh, Everpine is the youngest addition, so we might have to take her out on some more races pretty soon. We still have 12 days before our bills are due, so maybe we'll be able to earn enough money that we can think about expanding the kennels. It's only 8,000 extra dollars. Oh my gosh. Well, actually, I guess we don't technically need to expand. We still have two slots, but it might be something smart to do. But anyway, we have now tidied everybody up. Let's Yay, there we go. Max, Striker, and Domino get the rest that they need. I'm gonna give them their pets. We'll go down the line. Everybody gets pets. Everybody gets pets because it makes me happy. Everpine, somehow Harmony shoved her way in front of you and Harmony got two pets. That's fine. Harmony, you can have two pets, but let Everpine have her pets first. All right, and now we're going to switch over to training all of our dogs until it is time to go racing. And it is kind of tricky because you have to remember to pet your dogs, or at least the ones who petting is the favorite thing before you go and proceed. Oh, here we go, and it's time. It is time for another race, and the first place winnings would be $5,400. I almost said Simulonians because we've been playing a lot of Sims lately. And this would include a four dog race, snowy and foggy. Do I have a dog who loves the snow? I feel like one of my dogs loves the snow. A lot of wind though. Hmm, that's gonna be kind of tricky and a long race. Hmm, well, we're gonna do it. But now may not be the time then to, yeah, favorite thing is snow, yes. All right, so that's actually gonna make Domino very happy. So Domino, you're in the lead and his favorite thing is the snow. I knew we had a dog whose favorite thing was weather related and that's actually really, really hard to pull off, believe it or not. We don't often get very many snowy races lately. Um. For the other dogs, Maximus would be really exhausted if he came on this race, but it would be good for his experience. And he does seem to really love being in the middle. Uh, otherwise though, who else could we bring with us? Hey, 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 Maximus, I love you and everything, but I'm trying to see what the options would be. There would be Sierra, for whom this would be a nice, easy race to run. Yuki, whose specialty is actually the wheel if we wanted to switch her out with Max. Famous Max, world famous Max. Max with all of the fame, all the pictures, all the paparazzi. Hmm, we might give her a chance. And then of course there's Everpine who currently does not have any specialties. For a long race like this, this may be kind of too much for her, I think. Her favorite thing is petting. I feel like she and Max would really get along. 
Um, she's run 12 races in the middle and she hasn't really had, I think, with a personality that's strong. Hmm. Personality strong. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I want to train Everpine, but this may be a dangerous race to do so in. But I feel like Max and Everpine might go well together. So let's go ahead and take the risk, and we're going to be very careful to throw Everpine a lot of dog treats. So I hope just throwing her into the thick of things like this is the right choice. And it's a beautiful snowy day. Everpine, guess what, my dear? You are going to get so many treats. You're not even going to believe it. It's just going to be raining treats down upon your head. Max, did you literally just get a picture? Did, did, did Max just get a picture just because he's Max and just because there was a treat to be had? No, Everpine! Eat this! <laughs> Domino! Domino, don't don't panic. It'll be okay. Maybe Domino's worried for Everpine. His fault kicked in for some reason. Okay, I promise I'll start feeding Everpine better. <laughs> Max, you could have eaten that, please. All right, there's Everpine. And Everpine's favorite thing is petting, and she just had her favorite thing. Max, for crying out loud, if you're not going to eat them, could you at least toss the treat up to Everpine? <laughs> All of these treats are just like smacking Max on the head. All right, there we go. And also, the treats that are just flying into the snow, being left behind for very happy squirrels. <laughs> this is why I have that special sponsor ability. Oh, good job, Everpine, sort of. Don't go too far out of line, please. Oh dear, oh me oh my. All right, Everpine, there you go. Somebody's good thing kicked in. Striker's really having a tough time up there. Come on, guys. Everpine, get this. Oh, it's the wind. Oh gosh. Maybe I definitely, Max, catch this. Max, you were supposed to catch that. All right, come on, everybody. All right, just keep tossing to Everpine. Max, for crying out loud. Will you please simply eat the treats? Okay, Everpine, there you go. Yeah, the reason that I have the sponsor ability that gives you the bigger food bag is because I'm constantly doing stuff like this where I'm just like throwing treats all over the place. Who knows, maybe there's gonna be like, well, I wonder if a moose would eat a dog treat. That is literally never a thought I have had in my entire life until this race, trying to figure out would a moose be happy with a dog treat? Oh, Everpine, we're gonna make it to the very front. Come on, everybody. Oh, Everpine! Maybe you and Max are gonna be the new famous couple, the new celebrity couple. What do you think, Everpine? I actually kind of want to try breeding Max and Everpine now. What do you guys think about that? That would be fine. In fact, I kind of want to make them in Sims 4 now so I could see what their puppies would look like. That would be quite delightful. All right, Everpine, hurry and eat this. We're so close. We're so close. Come on, come on, come on. I like physically drag Domino across for first place. Yeah! All right, that makes me so happy. Everpine, good job. I really didn't make that easy on you. All right, so Max had a few pieces of fame. Everpine, uh, oh my. Wow, Everpine had a lot of perfect catches. Thankfully, she was not too dangerously exhausted and her fame has gone up. Congratulations, congratulations, puppers. So who was the most famous dog of that race? It was actually Everpine and her report with Domino has gone up. Interesting, interesting, all right. And her fame has gone up to level four. Uh, Max, what is, what is Max's fame actually? Now I'm kind of curious. No, I don't want to enter a qualifying league when my puppies are so tired. Uh, I think if you enter the qualifying league, it actually resets your fees though. So we might try enter the qualifying league after the next race. That might be a good idea. Also, Max, what is... His fame is level 12. <laughs> How high can the fame go? Because I feel like that should be Max's job, is trying to become the most famous dog that you could possibly be. And I kind of want him and Everpine to try having a puppy together because I think that that would actually be very interesting to see. And they could possibly have a really adorable little one who loves petting because both of, both of them actually really love petting. All right, so we're going down the list. The dogs who went on the race last time are getting a brief break. And Everpine and Max, I wonder. I wonder if I could work hard and make them a celebrity couple. We'll have to see. All right, we'll give them another day of rest. There you go. Everpine, how you doing? She still has three days that she needs to rest. So I might actually go ahead and have her rest with me, but the skill will go down on the dogs that we don't have rest, that we have rest who don't need it. 
So I'm going to actually remove, yeah, I'm gonna take care of the dogs. Uh, and then I'm going to, well, actually caretaking. Let me read what caretaking does again. Uh, let's see. Give extra attention to the dogs to re reduce their fatigue. Well, I, I don't think, okay, well, we'll just, we'll just take care of all the dogs. Yay, and it's time to condition Mary again. We could try to get a different result for her favorite thing or try something new. Dun, dun, dun. Her favorite thing is perfect catch. Um, You know, why don't we go ahead and try her natural aptitude? I would love to see, is she meant to be a middle dog or a wheel dog? And we actually, if we're going to keep Mary, if we're going to think about keeping her, we want her to be a middle dog because I already have a couple pretty good wheel dogs and Everpine might actually end up being a good wheel dog too. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and start conditioning. <gasps> Mill position! She is taking after her mom, Striker, so much. Oh my gosh, Mary. I think we're going to have to keep you. I think we are going to have to keep her because she is so much like her mom and she's our Merry Christmas puppy for the third season of Dog uh, Sled Saga. I, I, I think we're going to have to keep her. And I just, I'm going to make her little, her little, oh my gosh. Okay, remember what I was talking about with fan art earlier? If somebody could draw a picture of Mary, Striker's daughter and Striker, where are you? There you are, Striker, with a little collar that looked like a Christmas wreath. That would just make my Christmas. That would be so cool. I would love to see that. All right, so we have one day until the next race and five days until the bills are due. You know what? Let's run this race and then if we win it, the next time we're going to try racing in League 7 because I think we'll have enough money that if we can make it to League 7, that's awesome. And if we can't and we lose some of our funds, we'll still have enough money to cover the bills. It's kind of like a gamble to figure out if we can manage to win those hard league races. But all right, uh, let's go ahead and train everybody. Actually, Everpine's still fatigued, isn't she? Fui. Uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and take care of everybody once more and then not yet enter the race, but we'll pop over here. Whoops, I gotta pet everybody. Okay, hold still, hold still puppies. Yes, that's wonderful, I'm glad to see. Okay, that's great. They're literally dragging me down. Oh, and Yuki is sad, Yuki. Yuki who is, I think, our second most famous dog perhaps. But Yuki, why are you sad? Her favorite thing is victory. Well, you know what, Yuki? In honor of like the bold belief that we are going to be victorious, let's go ahead and take Yuki with us. Everpine's going to keep rusting. Yuki is going to come with us. Her specialty is the wheel. So we're going to bring Yuki with us this time. Domino as the lead will still stay with us. Uh, Harmony, who's a middle specialty, and Maximus, who is middle specialty, will come with us. I think Everpine, yeah, not only does she need to rest, but I'm pretty sure, well, Sierra would probably be better to bring. Huh. Okay, three, 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 three. Okay, Maximus is the only one we're, we'd be training. Sierra, Sierra. Sierra, do I want to bring Sierra instead of Harmony? Uh, I think Harmony and Max like playing, so I'm going to bring Sierra instead. There we go. All right. <laughs> I think that, that that was almost all lined up. Come on, take these two puppers. Everpine, be careful, and let's do this. All right, got to make sure we have everybody in the right positions. Domino in the front, Yuki in the back. I forgot how she is actually wheel level three. So she should be just as good as Max. Uh, and we're going to drag Maximus back here so that he can hang out with us and possibly end up really leveling up that middle specialty, which he has a natural aptitude for. His favorite thing is fame. So we're going to try to give him a little bit of that today. Sierra's favorite thing is perfect catch. And Yuki's favorite thing is victory and she really wants some victory. So Maximus and Sierra really want to have their favorite thing too. So perfect catches and fame. Perfect catches often lead to fame. Got it. Ooh, and it's a night race. Look at all these fluffy, fluffy puppies we have here. This is great. All right, let's toss this. And then we're just going to have to kind of constantly focus on feeding. There we go. No, Maximus! <laughs> I'm really glad that you got so happy and hyper, Maximus, but you've also tangled yourself. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Okay, let's do this. Maximus, actually, I think you wanted fame, and I, I got you mixed up. Oh, dear. Yes, good job, Maximus! He caught the treat that bounced off the tree, which is fantastic because it means... Here you go, Domino! Because it means that he got some fame. Oh, dear. Okay, come on, Yuki. Come on, Yuki. Oh boy. Oh, Maximus. 
Oh boy. This is gonna get a little interesting. Here you go. No, 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 tree. I didn't see the tree coming. Okay, that's great for Maximus. Not so great that I'm out of treats. What has happened? Quick. Okay, quick before everybody starts. Oh my gosh, those flashing. Those flashing lights. Hang in there, Domino. Okay, all of my big dogs need to focus. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. On the one hand, I'm so happy that there's so much fame flying by. On the other hand, I can't see a darned thing <laughs> because there's so many paparazzi lights. They're like, they're like, uh, they should definitely, no. <laughs> All of the paparazzis are definitely proving to be very dangerous to the well-being of my puppies. They're hazards. There we go. Go, go, go. Come on, everybody. Come on, Yuki. Yuki, for crying out loud, no, she has that fault where she stops eating when I throw her the treats. Oh, that fault is so painful. Yuki, take this. Okay, right, Maximus, take that. Okay, there's a tree coming. I see you, tree. It was a little tree, but I was worried about it. All right, Yuki, get that. Domino, get this. Domino, catch it. Okay, unfortunately, Domino has that issue where he has trouble catching things. I'm gonna toss this up to him. I have never driven my dog so hard. I'm sorry, puppers. Maybe we're not ready for League 7 yet. I want to believe we are, but this is making me doubt. Okay, here you go, guys. Here you go. Oh, it's so hard after a year of being away from the races to just, like, jump back in and try to be good. We're not very good, but I'm doing my best, guys. All right. Come on, puppers. Oh, third place. Oh, my. That's a little humbling. <clears throat> Yay! Woohoo! Third place is better than nothing. How badly did we do? Oh dear. Oh my. Okay. Um. Well, there's a lot of fame at least. Maximus, did you get a lot of fame? Um. Oh, he got really tired. Oh. Oh dear me. Yay! But his happiness has gone up to great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, his fame actually leveled up. Wow, Maximus. He got what he wanted. He wanted to be famous, and at least he managed to get the fame. So that happened. All right, guys. So Yuki did indeed run. Uh, unfortunately, I had so much trouble with Maximus. That was quite tricky. However, he has run his fourth race as a middle dog. His fame has gone up to level six, and he and Sierra had a lot of time to kind of build up a bit of a rapport while they were tangling in each other's paws. And then also, Striker is now up to level nine. I am so so proud of her. All right, that was exhausting. We've definitely gotta let all of our puppies rest because that was a little bit more work than I thought it would be. I'm gonna have to give it some really serious thought on if I want to try to enter the league seven races with tired puppies, um, or if that might be like a complete loss of all of our money. And I do think we're gonna keep Mary when Mary comes on in as our perfect catch middle dog. It'll depend on what kind of fault she ends up ha having when she grows up. So we have a little bit to learn about Mary we have a lot to do when it comes to uh, really pulling up some of the newest members of our dog team to be able to run on those harder races. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.